And tonight's chill moved in after a line of powerful Christmas Eve storms swept through. We showed you some of the damage left behind last night on the 10 o'clock news. And over the past 24 hours, many of you have let us know about other areas that saw trees blown down as the storms passed. News for Jack supporter Eric Avignier has been touring the damage from Bradford to Nassau County. He joins us live now from Kusadi Critters Dog Sanctuary in Callahan, where multiple kennels were destroyed. Eric. Yes, I want to just point this out. This is a dead tree that snapped in half during last night's storm and check out what it did here. It landed onto this uh, kennel. So you've got multiple kennels in here and it caused some extensive uh, structural damage to all of this. But there is something I really want to show you. So come follow me if you can. Um, just to give you an idea of how bad this really was. Take a look at this. Uh, this is one of the kennels in which the tree fell on. There was a dog inside here. Look at this kennel. It is obliterated. Fortunately, the dog that was inside this thing only walked away with scratches. This destruction at Kusadi's Critters Dog Sanctuary tells the story of what happened Christmas Eve night when a powerful storm came through. A tree fell on the kennels, destroyed half our kennels before the cold weather hit. And when the tree fell, it came close to killing one of the dogs. When we came out, we found the tree inside the kennels and a dog trapped. This is the kennel where the dog was rescued from. As you can see, it was destroyed. Somehow the dog walked away with only minor scratches. That dog and several others have since been moved to a large garage where they are now safe. But this wasn't the only rural area of Northeast Florida where Thursday night storm left damages in its wake. Here in Bradford County along Highway 100 near Stark, trees fell onto two homes and a car. The roof appears to have caved in at one of the homes. Fire rescue officials say at least four structures were damaged in the area. According to Bradford County officials, people who were living in those homes are now receiving assistance from the American Red Cross. Now, it's worth pointing out that earlier today, Bradford County officials posted on social media that uh, a tornado was what caused the damage in that area. However, it is also worth pointing out that according to the National Weather Service, that damage was caused simply by heavy winds. Reporting live, Eric Avignier, Channel 4, The Local Station.